and kick into it. I'm going to see how many. All right. Okay, cool. All right, folks, here we are on Trading Up. We've got Cass Darman here with us. This is the Forex Simulator Challenge number six. Uh, hopefully, you guys are joining and can see this all in front of you and hear what we're talking about. We're just about to go through the um, uh, sorry, just about to go through the the rules of the challenge. What Cass has got uh, in front of him. But before we do, Cass, do you want to let the guys know um, how you've been doing? What things are happening over there in, in Holland? Yeah, what's up, guys? My name is Cas Darm. I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, 24 years old, uh, and I'm totally ready for this challenge. Uh, so I'm I'm really excited, and I'm looking forward to get started right away. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, guys, without further ado, let's get this underway. So uh, to start off with, we're going to click through and go through the rules here of the challenge. So if you've been here before, you know exactly how this is going to work. Um, is he doing? So somebody's asked the question. Uh, it's Tanny says, is he doing six trades in one night? No, this is going to be a five trade back test trading challenge. So this isn't the scalping challenge. Um, this is a back test challenge. You're going to see how it works. Five consecutive trades on one market. Traders must enter the trades into five trades before the chart data ends. We we'll use the random starting point picked by Forex Simulator for that. And if the starting point is closer than two years, then we'll redo the random starting point. Traders can cancel their trade setup any time the, before their entry triggers. You only risk 2% per trade. Stop losses can't be extended once you're in the trade. And then rankings are based on overall percent gain during the five trade challenge with a maximum stop loss of 500 pips, of which I think one trader almost hit that. I had to tell him off the other day, so it can be done easily. Now, we're going to jump in after doing that to the Forex Simulator 10 trade challenge where Cass just needs to get 10 out of 10 trades right, okay? But there are some restrictions as well. He, well, he's going to get to win $2,000 if he does it. The restrictions are pretty tight, but it is obviously doable because somebody has got 6 out of 10. Uh, we're going to have 10, uh, 10 Forex pairs. I'm going to pick them. They won't be any exotics. One trade per pair, minimum one-to-one -one risk to reward, minimum take profit, 30 pips, max stop loss, 160 seconds to enter each trade. So your analysis goes out the window there, Cass. You kind of literally just have to fly through it. And ironically, I mean, for one-to-one -one trading, one, one guy got six right with 60 seconds. So it can be done. It can be done. All right, what else have we got here, guys, going on on trading up? <clears throat> Well, this challenge is brought to you by the Forex Simulator backtesting software. So you're going to see how realistic it is. multi time frame, multi-market. If you want to have multi-charts or multi-terminals, you can do that as well. There's 14-day free trial. Link below the video. Um, current standings, we have Institute Trader who is sitting at the top of the table with a plus 5.29. So can you beat that is the question. And ironically, he's doing the same pair that you did. So you guys are not just competing for the top of the table, but also competing for the top pair there, or for, for that pair as well. So um, good luck to you on that, Cass. Now, guys, if you uh, are looking to... I already told you about this, didn't I? I don't know why I've told you about that one. Am I going backwards here? No, if you're looking to build trading robots to make your backtesting a lot faster, and I did literally did this last night where I took a, straight, a strategy, I, I dare built it into a trading robot, backtested it just to see if it had val validity or not, and I was quite surprised with the results. So my manual backtesting showed that it was, it would look really healthy over the last you know, couple of weeks, 30 trades, 30, 40 trades, but then you put it over a year, and all of a sudden it doesn't look so flash, okay? And then you try in different markets. It's a lot easier to do it this way if you wanna do it really quickly and have mechanical rules to get yourself an edge. Seven days, video course, VIP community, no coding, at all live Q&A calls, 30 ready-made ro ready made robots that you can actually import into your own robot building software and get underway. Links below the video for that. There are other things on the channel that you can check out after watching this live, which we're just about to get into. That is the number two World Cup Championship Forex uh, trader, Scott Welsh, who uh, gave us a great interview and a little trick as well, uh, which was the simplest way ever to pick the start of a trend. We had Trader versus Trader, that's underway. We've got some fantastic traders in there. In fact, they've got better scores than my guests on the show. So Poom's got the highest score ever with 25.5. So if you wanna check that out after this, 
I recommend it. Uh, a great video that I posted last week, best chart analysis I've seen in 10 years. So that is fresh off the boat. Go and check that out. As well as the JP Savage, JD Dowdy special. So that's a great, co uh, <laughs> um, what is it? Challenge in its own right. Right, let's get on with this challenge here, uh, Cass. We're going to get you to yep. get remote access to my screen. I'm going to find you a starting point, and we're going to get underway. Guys, if you've got any questions for him on the live stream, just hit me up with your question in the chat, and I'll ask Cass that, and um, and we'll go from there. So what were we looking at doing? It was going to be, I'm just going to start your new simulation, and we're going to delete that. Right, so it was NZD USD, wasn't it? Yeah, correct. And we're going to find you a starting point. Let this load. Okay, so that's on the 15 minute chart. There's no time limit on this, Cass, so you just take your time, do your analysis. I'll get rid of some of these indicators for you because I know you don't need them. Yep. Uh, delete, delete, delete. I didn't quite select it. There we go. Delete. And uh, let's find you a random starting point in time. And you're trading the daily, right? Mainly, uh, the daily and the hourly. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find something at least 2016. So let's go. Okay, do you think you can get four trades in? Uh, sorry, five trades in there from 2016. Um, it finishes in middle of. It finishes mid 2020. Oh yeah, that should work. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so request remote control, and then it's over to you. And what I love is the fact that Cass has actually uh, gone and practiced on the Forex Simulator software so he knows how to use it. Some of my guests are coming in cold and it's it's a lot of me trying to do it. So Cass, away away you go, mate. So you're looking for your first trade. I'll jump in here and help you with the uh, the risk, but it's all yours. All right. Yes. All right. So first, let me get the times right because I use the daily closes to enter a trade. And you've back tested this strategy quite some. You've done quite a lot of back testing, haven't you, to get the the figures that you're comfortable with? Is that right? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've done a lot of back testing. Some people might uh, call me crazy for it, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the reason I'm doing this is because I trade based on the daily close, and as you can see now, the time is on zero zero zero. So that's the daily close. All right, so I started the daily time frame to form a bias, a statistical bias of which I've back tested. And that's what I will be looking for before I'm going to the hourly. And this strategy you came up with, I can't remember from our interview, but was it purely your creation? Um. It was inspired by uh, someone, but I basically created it myself. I used different concepts from uh, different people and built it for myself, yeah. All right, this looks pretty good. Um, You're so still that I'm like, I'm thinking, he hasn't um, frozen, has he? I'm, no, like, no. Literally going, I'm just going, really going, focusing. Like, <laughs> he, he, we've, we've not lost him already. We're only like five minutes in. No, no, no. Okay, cool. All right. So what do you, you think? What are you thinking here? Uh, I'm looking for a long um, to basically uh, target this uh, upper line but I still need to uh, set it because this will be my take profit line and it's always based on the daily time frame okay all right
So my take profit will be over here. Uh, and that's just based on statistics. I, I saw my pattern on a daily time frame, and uh, that's why my target goes there. And are you going to try and adjust your strategy at all for this to try and get a, I suppose, a, a higher win a reward trade, risk reward trade? Because I know you're a um, 1 to 1.2 kind of guy. Yeah, um, I know. Uh, I will be, indeed, I will be changing my strategy a bit because usually I trade uh, breakouts, but I will try to get in a better entry at a retracement and I also will be uh, adjusting my targets to potentially get a better uh, better outcome. All right, so I will put my stop loss in right now, which will be based on the structure of the market. This was the daily low. Um, I know from, well, from, from back testing a lot, I don't have to put my stop loss at the daily low, but I can get away with here because uh, if people are long, the stop loss will be below this zone. And if the stop losses are go going to get triggered, my ID will still be valid. So I don't want to stop out with the majority of people that would be long. Uh, so my stop loss goes below here. Uh, I want to enter at this level uh, because to me this is the last uh, point of resistance, the last important point of resistance before this shift to the upside. Uh, and after these lows, that's also something very um, important to illustrate. These two lows just got broken. It's just maybe one and a half pip or something, but these lows got broken. So if there was any liquidity below, it will most likely have been triggered. And that's why I will be looking for longs. So this is going to be oh, a... Do you want to stop the, do you want to stop the, you know, you're in play mode. I'm just going to oh, stop. Damn. Yeah, just stop there because it's, it's moving forward. Uh, it doesn't really matter on this okay. one because okay. it will be a limit order. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how we hit that start thing. It seems to be uh, a bit random when we hit it. Yeah, I well, noticed I, this I never, as well. I, yeah, I never see when somebody hits it, but somebody must hit it somehow. So this is going okay. to be my stop. Right, do you want me to try and get you uh, $200? Seems awfully... Um, <laughs> it's, oh, it's a very tight stop at six pips. Uh, yeah, but where? What's the entry line? How do I? Um... Uh, right, right. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, right. So you, let's um. Because I want to enter at the the black line, the okay, seventy two point seven seven. Right. What I do is just go and do type that in there. Uh, oh yeah. Seven seven yeah. seven. There you go. Yeah. That's, yeah. That looks a bit better. It's still. Okay. Right. We're only risking a very low amount. That's why. Okay. So let's let's try. Um. Do you want to give it a go and try and get to two hundred dollars? risk yeah just two percent yeah okay do you want to have a go or do you want me to have a go um let's go yeah one. you can do it i will just put one. in the uh, take I've been, um, yeah i've been doing it you're probably <laughs> more experienced quite, quite some, it. yeah it's, it's uh yeah geez look at that three goes mate yeah um, this is where i exceed uh, excel right all you need to do is click order and then um yeah, first well, unless the... you want to put the take profit in do you want to yeah. put that in yeah okay take profit is going to be over here if you want to get that exact, oh, it looks like it's exact. Yeah. Uh, it's if you want to get it exact, exact, you could write the number in, but you can move it if you want to adjust it. Seems about right. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. Cool. Buy limit order. Two hundred dollars at risk. Lovely jubbly. Let's uh, have a look and see how you get on. This is the first trade, guys. So if you do, oh, I, should, I should put the live scores up. So there is a um, a page where this, these scores will be updated. So if you do leave and come back, you can find the link underneath the video or you can find it above the video and you can quickly go in there and see how he got on. Unfortunately, this first, stop out. first trade did not work out. Uh, live scores. You carry on looking for the next trade. So this is the beauty yep. of this one: is you don't need to, uh, you don't need to go and um, what's the word? Find another trade from the start. You've got some of the work already done. 
what I struggled with like for ages around back testing, and I think I I touched on this in the uh, interview. Oh, when did I touch on this? Actually, I can't. I think I might have touched on it in a in a in a Instagram live that I did with somebody was was um the fact that I I just couldn't. I didn't like losing, and I'd always come up with these rules to help me win in a back test, right? Because I was like, right. hang on, this strategy is going to work. This strategy is going to work. It wasn't an impartial thing. It took me ages to get over that because I was like, oh, I'll add this rule in. I'll add that rule in. By the time I finished the, the back test, I'd done like 20 trades, and I had probably 25 rules, which was never going to never gonna work, right? And um, and it was just goes to show like you know, how much the ego and wanting to – when the trades is, is such a part of it and even in a back test even yeah, yeah yeah i think a lot of people if they back test they usually do it wrong it's it just takes a lot of work and you have to do it right otherwise it's just a waste of time yeah so i wonder if anyone from the the, the telegram chat where you're Oh, sorry, I can't do that. Sorry, I just grabbed your mouse <laughs> from the <laughs> Telegram chat. Um, is I'll have a look here. Um, is joining? Is anyone from the Telegram chat, the Trading Nut tele Telegram chat, where you would have seen Cass participating quite somewhat in this chat? Uh, let me know if you're in the watching this live. It'd be quite interesting. It was not even going to let me access Telegram here. I don't know why. Right, so this looks very, very good to me. I've established the bias on the higher time frame, and this looks as a, like a clear uh, accumulation range to me. So I want to enter this. Okay, let's do it. The, the way to do the limit orders on the software is to right-click where you want to place the limit order. I mean, you can always adjust it. Ex if you want later on, but yeah, right click where you want to place it and then you adjust the stop loss after that. All right. So I have to think a little bit because I'm trading a bit different than I'm usually doing. So that's why <laughs> I sometimes, it looks like the connection is gone, but I do have some thinking yeah. to do. Yeah. So normally, normally what, so what's the main difference here? Is you're looking for that two to one risk to reward instead of one to one point two? Yeah, my my target placement is a bit different, and my entries are also a bit different. So yep. that's why. So let me update the score there on that page. All right. Oops. Oh no. I've actually lost the internet connection. So I'm going to put in a limit order. This level. Because this is the most recent point of uh, resistance and support during the range and after the range so here it was resistance breakout support and i want to get an entry over here okay right you need help with getting the stop loss in and stuff or um i will put a stop loss in if you can just do the uh, lot size yeah perfect stop loss is going to be here all right, so you can change the lot size. Okay, right. Um, I was actually thinking like it, it would be great if everyone could just have a copy of this and then it would be so much easier. But the problem is I still need to request access to the to your keyboard to do the to do the lot size. Now, actually, I, it's 195 now because you lost the first trade. Yeah. So there you go. Do you want me to hit order? Are you happy with the yeah, stop sure. loss and the take profit? Okay, cool. Yes. There you go. Right, let's see how you get on. 
let's put it on the H1 because it's a bit clearer to see how the trade develops. Oh, yep, you're in? Yeah, I'm in. Great. Oh, good move. Oh, damn. I'm, <laughs> I don't usually get that quickly uh, in profits, but... So I don't manage my trades is something that I have to say. I don't manage anything. I just enter uh, and I let it run, basically. It must be the weekend. Yeah, let me... There we go. And what was that, just based on backtesting, you'd, you realized that managing the trade was not as effective? Yeah. Yeah, based on backtesting. And I also think a lot of people are just managing because it feels good. But if they really take time to journal it, they usually see that tra managing the trades is not good enough. There you go. Well done. There we go. At 1.6, two trades down. Thing is, yeah, like, I mean, it's, it's interesting, eh? Because I think, um, like, even every, all the backtesting that I do with, with automated robots and that, what I find is like when you got partial exits and trailing stops and all this sort of stuff. More often than more often than not, it doesn't actually you know improve your end result. It usually just ruins it, to be honest. So um, yeah, I sort of agree with you to a certain degree around around managing the the trade by just you know letting it run not managing the trade should i say okay let's see so it's oh jeez it's not the score's not going to update for me come on i might have to come off this page and go back on it again so you got so just thinking so you're doing two to one risk to reward you got three more trades so you might have to win so you're gonna make four hundred bucks, right? Or four percent. Yeah, to win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So four percent to, to to per trade plus compounding. So you probably need to win at least two of the the three remaining trades to make to to take out the top score. If you win all three, which is you know you could possibly do by by luck, um, based because his strategy I believe is like sixty odd percent win rate yeah on, on this pair my win rate is around 75 percent, so uh, that's why i choose the pair uh, okay so it, it might happen <laughs> we will see yeah because it's i mean the other thing is like you know it looks like your analysis is pretty straightforward and simple very mechanical to a certain degree what yeah, I just say? I I know what I'm looking for on the daily chart, and, and and if it's if it's not there, then I'm not going to the hourly to find an entry because the the odds are not in my favor. So it's it's purely mechanical, yeah. Okay, great. So the scores. So the guys that are watching, the, the scores are updated on that link above the. Uh, the uh, the chat window there. So if you do want to see that, if you do duck, duck away and want to have a look, then head over there. Uh, who have we got? We've got Natesh and Jacob in the chat. How are you guys doing? Where are you from? So it might look like um, that I only take a few trades. Oh, whoops, wrong button. That I only take a few trades per year, but this is just on one pair. So this is quite a low frequency strategy, but because I trade multiple pairs, uh, I do have around six, seven trades per month, mm -hmm. which is still low frequency to some people, but to me it's enough. Jakub from Slovakia. Welcome. So he sounds like a, a another guy who works a job and trades at the same time. Um, finds a way to do it. Well done, mate. Well done. Commit commitment to the cause. Yeah, definitely. 
So what are you looking for? Can you explain what you're looking for here? So the guys have got to, I know you sort of marked it up in that video we did. Yeah. Uh, are you able to sort of explain what you're wanting to say? Um, I'm looking for a candlestick pattern, basically. It consists of uh, three candles. Uh, and they have to be in the right order. Uh, and I basically made some rules around the closes, the lows and the highs uh, to figure out um, the chances of price moving in a certain direction. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Uh, and then I use the hourly to decrease the size of my stop loss. And how long did it take you to get to the the higher time frames. Where did you sort of ever start? And I can't remember if I asked you this in the interview, but did you ever start looking? You know, thinking I'm going to trade, you know, five minute charts and one minute charts, and that's how I was going to approach it. Or did you always go straight to higher time frames? Um, I first started the hourly time frame because I think a lot of people do it, but. Um, I quickly re realized because I still had an, another job, it was very hard because I had to go to the toilets to, to check the charts every hour and it just didn't work. So that's when I started to look at the uh, daily time frames. Because I've got, I'm on the 15 minute and like even that's a little bit too much, especially if you had a job, it was, it'd be a nightmare. But um, with alerts and everything going, it's like every, you're sort of like, what, another 15 minutes is up? What's going on? <laughs> it's way too quick yeah. way too quick all right so this looks uh very good to me this shows me a potential trade to the upside uh, reason being let me zoom out a little So this is a small accumulation range. Then we got to move to the upside. Um, basically, we retested the origin of the move. Um, then we broke this structure. So now I am bullish. Usually I would enter right now, but because I only have five trades and I want to win, I'm going to hopefully get a fill on a limit order below market. So this is the last point of resistance before the break of the structure. So that's where my uh, entry will be. And then for stop loss placement, this is the low of the day. And then I can get away with a stop below this. Yeah, that looks good. So according to my statistics, the odds are in my favor on the daily time frame, and then I've established a better entry here on the hourly time frame. So I'm going to put in a limit order right now. Buy limit. Oh, yeah, you can click that little thing as well and get the limit order. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So another guy who owns it's gonna um he's gonna be making improvements to this so it's basically online uh, it's an online version like trading view and that sort of thing and with that will be you know probably a lot of maybe not so much visibility uh, visual changes but I'm sure there'll be some functional changes in there um, right we've got a couple of things here Michael McCann hello to channel. I've been trading Forex for five years consistently because it always continue to master the basics. Can you change the uh, lot size for me? Yep. And I can fill in the order. So it's like Jacob's saying, most people will go for a sell now. Nice analysis, mate. I would go for a buy. I would go for a buy now as well. Right, okay, so lot size we need, uh, let's just, sorry, let me just work it out. Um, the 10 166 times 0.02 equals 203. Okay, right. So um, it's going to be not quite two, but 
2. There you go. 203. Actually, you've got an extra 30 cents there. That'll do. Okay. Right. So ready to... I'll hit order for you. Yep. Okay, away you go. Let's have a look. This is your third trade here, Cass. So you've you've done well. One win, one loss. The win's been greater than the loss. This is going to be for your third trade out of five, guys. Guys, if you do want to hit like, uh, you're learning a thing or two here. So make sure you like this video. Uh, we've got... I think it's because of the time of day. We haven't got that many people on. Normally, I've got probably five times as many people as this, uh, if not more. So it's... Oh, that's a stop. Stop out. Oh. What do you think happened there, George? Do you think, or are you just like, it's just a number? It's a numbers game? Um, well, if I look in hindsight, you can see these highs got taken out, and we got a clear close below. But it's just I the odds were in my favor, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Mm. So to me, this was a good trade, no matter the outcome. Yeah. So I have to make a five point six percent right to win. Well, you can't win anything, but I mean to take the to yeah, take the top to, spot. Yeah, to, to take, take the top, top spot. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, if you want to go for the top spot, you've got two more trades left. So you've got to make five hundred and well, like eighty dollars at the moment. But you got two trades to do that in. Obviously, if you lose a trade, then it's going to be harder. Um, guys, if you are ju just joining, then head over to the link at the top. You'll see the scores there. Uh, get an update on this. Pablo from Jamaica. Welcome to the show, Pablo. I had a Jamaican on the show just recently. Um, Pajama Billionaire. His name was. It's probably the best name I've had on the show. I think we'll get him on here actually to, to do this challenge. I think he was keen the other week, but then we couldn't make it happen. So we'll try again. Next week, I'll have uh, Richard Nassar said he's keen to do it. So this guy is a, one of the top trading view authors. He was on last week on the show, he had a fantastic video. It's got the most likes to dislike ratio I've ever seen on any video. I think it was like 90. When I looked after 500 likes, it was like 90. 9.2% or something. So on 500 likes, there was five dislikes. It was incredible. So um, guys, you've got to go and check that out after after watching this. It's on the channel. Got a couple of trades running. Let's see where, where they're at. All right, this looks really good to me. So I'm going to look for yet another long. And I'm going to try to make a bit more on this because I want to uh, be the first in the list. And because the daily time frame looks very promising. Because uh, if people are familiar with Wyckoff, which I think they will be, this is a clear accumulation range on the daily time frame. So that gives me a bullish bias for the, for the longer term. Um, and that gives me at least a chance of running my trade. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so this will be my target because of these prior lows, these, this structure. I expect a breakout of this entire daily range to the upside. So now I'm going to look at the hourly Look at the spread on that. That must be the uh, start, of, start of the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it will be the start of the day. It's so funny. I mean, I'm from New Zealand, but I never trade any New Zealand crosses. I just don't like them. Right. So the stop loss is going to be below here. Um, 
The reason is because on this H1 time frame, as you can see, two lows got broken, this one over here and this one over here. It got broken by a few pips and then a strong reaction to the upside. So I'm expecting a breakout to the upside. Uh, and from journaling these kind of setups, I know I can put my stop loss over there instead of below the low. So my entry is going to be, and this is where I have to think because I normally don't trade like this. I would usually just enter right now. This is where my entry will be because of this structural high and this resistance over here. So time for a limit order once again. Get the entry. I want to get a fill, but the spread is pretty high. So I'm going to put it a bit higher above this level. TP is going to be this level. Stop will be here. Yes. So can you fill in the uh, lot size? Yep. So we got 199.26 to play with here. So let's have a buzz at that. Uh, so it's basically 200, uh, which will be 0.9. Is it going to be 0 0.6? 0 0.58. 0.575, uh, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, Oh, this looks really good because this low got rejected so people that were early uh, at going long now have probably been stopped out so this looks very good to me and if you're taking it one to one you probably would have reached it but it's going for gold here folks he wants the top spot here on a trading nut yeah i'm going all in right now <laughs> So still looks really good. As you can see, this area got rejected once again. Um, so the, the trade is still valid to me, and that's why my stop loss is below here, because if this low gets broken and rejected, the trade isn't invalid to me. As you can see, it's still moving to the upside. I wonder what that's going to be. Is, is that 2 to 1? Well, it's, three, it's almost 3 to 1, isn't it? Hits. Back to break even. There you go. Look at that. Oh, Boom. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good, good trade. Well, you're up to 3.9. So you can't lose. You can't have a negative score, right? So awesome. whatever you... Whatever you get, it's going to be positive. That's that's uh, that's a good yeah. good trade. And look at that, having to sit yeah. down through that. So I mean, that, that's, yeah, that's that's why I don't manage my trades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you would have been still hit would have been stopped out. So guys, this we're on the cusp of a potential new high score here. Uh, let me just fill it in. Let me fill it in on the uh, the score. Nobody can see you. The door is not in no, but nothing about the doors in shot. No, it's not in shot. Okay, right. Let me. So you've had two wins, two losses. <laughs> bang on with your um. Uh, this is slightly different from your normal strategy, but bang on with your your percentage win rate. You're at fifty fifty, and if you win this, that's your sixty four, isn't it? Really. Uh, so you're up three point yeah. nine seven. Right. 
this is going to be make or break the next trade I'm going yeah, to yeah, take. Yeah, because, so. I mean, so you only need, if you got a one-to-one -one on it, you'd make 200 bucks. That would push you across the winning line if you got a one-to-one. -one. That's if you just want to sit at the top of the table for another week until somebody else has another crack at it. If you really want to sort of get some distance, then, um, you know, you obviously want to go higher. The funny thing is, right, is the guys that I've had on my trader versus trader, <laughs> there's like four of them out of six have gotten better scores than all of the guys who've been past guests and done Damn. my uh, Forex simulator challenge like this. And it'll be the same again. Like, I mean, even getting more than 5% 5, 5 is still a good score. Don't get me wrong. But um, these guys are getting like, last night I had two guys who got 15%. That's insane. And, yeah, and yeah. one guy, one guy got, um, one guy. Actually, I think the guy who got the the, the other fifteen percent, he cut it short because he was like, "Well, I've won now, so I'll just, I'll end it." So he probably would have got higher. Another guy got twenty, as I mentioned at the start of the show, got twenty five percent. So, um, and this guy was only like a twenty year old from South Africa. So, uh, who else have we got here? We've got Chuka from Connecticut in the US, from Nigeria as well. Obviously, I don't know if you're on holiday there or probably not holiday with no travel. <laughs> Jacob, uh, he doesn't like NZD either. Uh, every time he takes the trade, it goes in the wrong direction. Well, that's the, <laughs> the that's essentially the problem with yeah losing. Now it's interesting. You've all you've taken as buys is that. Is there, a, is there something around that with your, um, or just a coincidental, you've not seen any sales? It's just coincidence, but I do notice that my buy trades usually uh, make more money, but in this time it's just coincidence, yeah. God. My daughter's just come in and uh, put the washing machine on, but did she shut the door? No. <laughs> did she leave it open? Yes. Hang on, I'm just going to shut the door again. You finished it? You finished? Oh, you finished? You're not. Did you shut the door when you come through here? I was just trying to look in. Oh. Damn it, I keep knocking this mic stand, it's going to fall over in a second. Right, right, right. Um, Michael McCann says, boom. Beautiful. Uh, righty ho. So, can you talk, Kess? I just want to make sure I didn't knock, knock the mic. Yeah, out. yeah. Ah, yes. Cool. <laughs> just really focus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we've got the ten trade challenge coming up after this, guys. Immediately after, so Kess has got a chance to win two thousand US dollars. Uh, I'm, depending on how we sort of wrap up, I might see if anyone else wants to have a go at it. Uh, also, 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 uh, make sure you hit the like button if you can. That would be great. And. We've got an interview popping out the door tomorrow with uh, a trader, and I'll tell you the name of the trader. His name's FX, uh, Controller FX, so he's coming on the show. <clears throat> Great video that he shot afterwards, two in fact, and one of them essentially is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of his entire strategy, like literally unpicked. It's a longer video. It's not going live tomorrow, but the first one's going live tomorrow. We're going to get to see his celery trade. Uh, or celery play trade is what he's called it. So, um, yeah, cool stuff coming up here on Trading Art. Also, guys, we will have some merch coming in the very near future. I've been talking about this for ages, but it's coming. It's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. And it's a new logo that comes with it. And I, I like the logo. I really think it's going to work well on, on some merch. So, guys, if you want to be sporting some cool trading stuff, then this could be the coolest stuff could be the coolest stuff on the internet stay tuned right so i found my last uh trade 
I want to go short and target this uh, daily swing point. Cool. And that would hopefully give me the winner I'm looking for. Okay, let's have a look and see what you've got to play with. 397. So you got 207 bucks. $207 to play with. Um. Yeah, I've been toying with like my strategy and whether or not to just go with one to one and just be done with it, and or versus like letting it run. It's it's a hard one to back test. Yeah, I, so I usually back test for like a one to one, uh, two to one, and three to one, and then I just look at which one is the best, and then I. Uh, look at the drawdown after entry. So if I notice that after the most of my winning trades, I go in a 50% drawdown, I yeah. like to uh, decrease the stop loss size. So that's how I did it. Yeah, well, I mean, I was, I was, um, I mean, who was it? Dovi FX came on here the other day and did this trader versus trader. And I did actually like his way of approaching it, which is something I'd thought of before, but never really done, which was like take at one to one, he takes off half of the position. So if he loses the trade, it's like a break-even trade. And then at two to one, he moves his stop to break even. And then at, th I believe it's three to one, or does he let them run? I think he lets them run a bit um, after that. So he lets them run, and then whatever they run to, like he, he takes profit at some other type of, type of level. But it's sort of like a runner. But the problem with that is if you get, keep getting stopped out at break even at two to one, you're sort of giving away two times risk, um, initial risk, and you're only really taking half an hour on your trades yeah. and you, you know you're spending all that time in the market for half an hour is it worthwhile just you know closing the lot out at 2R or, or some other sort of predefined target I don't know um, so I'm sort of I, I built a robot based on the strategy just to see how it traded and what surprised me was just from a raw like one time frame raw entry this is my entry like it was 47 percent win rate on one to one so okay. that, that in itself told me that okay right i need to i need to at least have you know some really solid rules if i'm entering a trade i can't just enter it based on that one entry rule um well there was a few in there but i can't just base it on the one entry rule and i mean yeah, today's been fantastic in terms of like i think i've lost maybe one trade Oh no, two trades, two trades. And just simply by getting that information and going, okay, right, I can't just enter, it needs, you know, there's, it's gonna be wrong 53% of the time. So I've yeah. gotta have some serious confirmation here to, to make sure that I'm on the right side. Yeah. Right now, you need me to help? Yeah, this is the last trade. Okay, let me tell you how much you've got to play with. Again, it was 207, or it's really 208. So let's get you to 208 here. Three, seven. Ah, oh, almost perfect. Oh, actually that probably was perfect. Yeah, it's three, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, cool. All right. Let's hit order and so if you win, 380 is what you get, right? So let's do the calculation on that. It's, uh, I should be able to do it pretty quickly, but I should be able to do it in my head, sorry, but I can't. Um, 397 plus 380, 777, okay. So if you win the trade, you're basically gonna be top of the table, big time. Okay, let's see. 7.7%. Seven pretty good yeah if you so, lose a trade you'll be sort of mediocre <laughs> middle of the road yeah win or lose so i took the trade because this high got taken out um and rejected very firmly and i know there's liquidity below market that might take profit so i want to target that liquidity and the entry is based on this uh, last point of support before the range breaks so let's see 
if I get a fill and uh, what's it gonna do? <laughs> if you don't get a fill, then we, we start again. <laughs> well, at what point do you go, oh, well, well, we're gonna can the order. Is it when it hits the TP level or? Yeah, when it uh, goes to my TP like it's doing right now. So okay. now right. my trade is invalid. Right. Okay. Uh, right. Let's look for the next setup. So, guys, if you're just joining us, we've got Cass Darman here from the Netherlands. He's done four trades already. Go and have a look at the uh, the status of them. In fact, I can just tell you, he's won two, he's lost two. Uh, he's currently up 3.97%. He needs 5.29% to tie with the first place on the leaderboard. Uh, and he's got his last trade, so he's got one trade to do that in. If he loses it, he's still going to come out positive, but you'll be losing $207, almost $208 on that account there of 397, which takes you back to 189. There you go, 189. After this, we've got the 10 trade challenge as well. He's gonna do, he's gonna compete to try and win $2,000 US dollars in paid in Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, all you need to do is get 10 out of 10 trades right and bang, he's made himself a couple of grand very quickly. There are some sounds, limitations. Sounds with. easier than yeah, it is. Yeah, there are some limitations <laughs> with this, might I add. Dobby got six out of ten, and I was like, man, damn, this guy has is, is, uh, done very well for six. You've got it's got to be you've got to be on on your game, or really, you've just got a humongous understanding of candlestick price action and probabilities, and you know a lot about <laughs> a lot of different markets. Uh, welcome, Leon. Glad, great to see you here on the uh, on the channel for the first time, guys. If you're here for the first time, you haven't hit a like on the video, and you haven't hit a like on the trading up videos, do remember to do it. It does keep the channel alive. Uh, also, if you're not a subscriber, I notice that we haven't got any new subscribers here on today's show. Well, actually, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Do hit the subscribe button as well, so you can get the other videos I spoke about at the start. And just recently, the next one's coming out tomorrow. Um, some cool stuff here, guys. Free, free education for you traders. And if you want to see, if you want to check out Cass, he's in the Trading Nut Telegram chat. So we've got about 3,000 traders over there. If you want to join that, it's free. Uh, you're going to learn from Cass and other traders. It's a safe community. We get rid of all the spammers, scammers as soon as we can uh, so yeah go and check it out links on trading art uh, at the bottom in the footer you'll find links to that uh, hit the subscribe button as well and that will take you to the right page I think even links under the YouTube video is here uh, here as well all right looking for a long to target the upper black line because it's a previous structure in the markets and I, I have found my bias on the daily time frame so now I'm going to look for the hourly to get a better risk to reward ratio and hopefully get a fill on this one nice so Leon uses these videos these testing videos to get a to help, help him with his trade ideas which is great fantastic look guys there's gold in here right Absolute gold. So on the hourly, it looks very good. This is a clear reaccumulation range. Multiple lows have been broken by this uh, this pin bar uh, and a strong rejection to the upside. And then we broke the range to the upside. As you can see over here, we've got a breakout. So I want to enter on this level. Uh, usually I would enter right now, but as I said, I want to get a bit of, a bit of a better risk reward ratio. So that's where my entry will be. Target will be the upper line and my stop will be um, why isn't it moving? moving? Double click, double click. Ah, there we go. So the stop loss will be below 
here because people that are early long will usually have to stop losses below here and I don't want to get stopped out over here. So this will be the last trade, hopefully, if this one gets filled. Cool. So it was 207 that we've got to play with. I'll set that up for you again. High limits. So it could be, could be quite a high score if you um, win it. Oh, it's basically the same again, 343. And the stop loss. Okay. All right. Right. Oh, actually, sorry. So it won't be 343 because I'm going to change this. So it's going to be, let's go with five. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Right. Yep, five. There we go. Okay. 207 risk, 504 reward. So if you win the trade, you're actually going to be up in the 800s. 900s even. If you win that the trade, you'll, uh, you'll be at nine percent, which will yeah. be the, the one of the top top scores we've had here. You obviously need to be filled first. It's a weekend. Weekend. See, it's going in the right. Oh, actually, you haven't entered yet. Have you? I didn't get, <laughs> that's, that's, I didn't get a fill yet. yet. So, hopefully, price comes back. But if it doesn't, uh, I will. Looks, now I look at it. It's yeah. I can sort of see. It probably will come back. Okay. Oh my. Oh word. damn. Look at that as an entry. God, oh, that that is crazy. Because I was thinking that looks like a pattern that I know. And that's, that's just quite like, quite a bit of luck because I yeah. never enter like this. Yeah. That is okay, crazy. Let's see. That is crazy. So you almost shot to. So at 540. Oh. So at that point, you you actually got the top score now. You've got the top score. I want to You've hit the top score. Big time. I don't manage my trade, so. Okay. He's going for it, guys. He's putting it all on the line here to get out in front. Oh, he did it! Oh, <laughs> he damn! Did it. 900. <laughs> Nine hundred dollars. Holy fuck! Nine percent. You have topped the table, Cass. And ah, oh, it's a shame that there are not so many people here to watch it as normal, because just because of the time. But th that is Damn. the trait. Like, I'm gonna take a photo <laughs> of that. Let me take a photo of it, and let's just get that on Instagram. I'm gonna just gonna move your head into that uh, because this is a crazy, crazy Jesus. trade. That's <laughs> awesome, man. Look at that for a trade. Boosh. Um, that's fantastic. You have won. You've not won anything. Okay, you've topped the table. And guys, what I'm going to do quickly is I think I've got the table here. Um, oh, let me find the table. Let me get it here. I'll show you where we're, where we sit. Actually, I've got it here, haven't I? Where is it? There it goes. Right. So you can see here, Institute Trade ahead five point two nine percent. We've gone through what your number six, are we? on these replay challenges uh, these yeah ones? number six number yeah. six okay number six um institute trader has top the table there with 5.29 you've come in at nine nine Jesus Christ. so you have doubled doubled that uh let's just have another look at that it was 9.01 9%. so nine percent that is crazy good score in fact that is the third fourth high score in total of anyone doing this challenge so Fantastic stuff there, Cass. That's right. Yes. Right. Very well done. Very well done. <laughs> um, guys, I hope you're giving him some applause there in the chat. Uh, got great, great job. Nice, nice dude. Um, this was good. A lot of emotions with that one. So, yeah, cool, cool. Right, now we're going to do the 10 trade challenge. So this is the one that really sort of counts on the back of the wallet uh, where you can win, how much is it? $2,000. So I'm just going to shut that down. We're going to get uh, a chart up. Now, I'm going to time this. So let's just quickly go over the rules again, guys, so you know how this is going to work for Cass, so you're not sort of confused. Uh, so what's going to happen is it's 10 trades, right? So the rules are you've got 10 Forex pairs. I'm going to pick them. Uh, they're not going to be exotic. See, the ones on the list there. One trade per pair, minimum one-to-one -one risk to reward trade. So a minimum take profit of 30 pips, which means if you have a take profit of 30 pips, your stop loss must be 30 pips. 
Uh, maximum yep. stop loss is 100 pips, so you can have anything between 30 and 100, basically. 60 seconds to enter each trade. Now, look, if you guys want to take, uh, have a crack at this, I will be doing an open day. I, I thought I might do it today. Um, if you are keen to do it today, I might open the floor up. So just hit me up in the chat now and say, yeah, I want to have a go today at winning two grand and do the 10 trade challenge. So you'll need to have your webcam on. You'll need to have a half decent internet connection. And if you get all 10, you can you walk away with the two grand. Okay, so um, if you do want to do that, hit me up in the chat now. Whilst Cass is doing this, then I'll see if we can get one or some of you in the um, uh, on, the sh on the show. Okay, so let's jump out of this. Let's jump back into here. So uh, you've got access to remote control. I'm going to get my stopwatch here. We don't need to worry about... Uh, sorry, I'm going to get a bit of a notepad up here to keep score. We don't need to worry about the um, the balance. That's all good. Okay, right. Let's so I I can't trade like at it right now, right? Because if I see the chart, I need to, I only have sixty seconds to enter a trade, right? Yeah. So you've got a sixty seconds to enter the trade. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so yeah. In general, you've just got to either click along or use the control key and the scrolly thing on the mouse. Find your entry setup and then go. Okay. Yeah. The stop losses and just tell me where the, what the stop loss is because once you know that we can get work out the take profit okay right right so we're going to go cad actually oh, no i'm going to make it i'm going to give you an, an easy one to to start off with um i'm going to give you an easy one to start off with and what i'll do is i'll get rid of this stuff yeah you've got that was that last trade you took okay right so well, actually, no, I can't do that one because I think it's got the trades already on it. Oh, so yeah. What, what I'll do, I, I can't do that one, so I won't, won't do that. Won't do it that easy. Um, okay, this is the one we're going to go with. And what I'm going to do is move that there. And we're going to go simulation, random date, and point, point in time. I'm going to delete this indicator. Over to you, Cass start one minute All from right. now okay <laughs> clenolide stick he <laughs> wish he was at the house he had 100 percent do this ah uh, unlucky mate next time next time next time 40 seconds left right i want to go short okay Right, so what's your stop loss? Just put your stop in. Uh, I'll put the... Don't, don't mark it up, just put it in with the little... Um, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, thingy. So the stop loss had to be 30 pips. Uh, at least 30. At least 30 yeah, pips, so it's going 30. to be off here, 52. Okay, I can sort that out from here. Oh yeah, one to one. 570, I'm gonna move our pictures out of the way. Um, and you're, you're selling, yeah? Yeah, I'm selling. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Does he win? Look at the spread on this thing. It's crazy. You won one. One out of right. one. Well done, mate. Right. It's more than more than some. Uh, next pair is... And I'm not even going to be able to... Whoops. Oh, I need the mouse. <laughs> next pair is... Whatever this pair is. I don't even know what it is. Cat JPY. <laughs> Big surprise. Okay, over to you. Start. One minute. Forty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. All right, I want to be long. Okay, put your stop uh, in, and then we'll stop. take it from here. Going to be let's below three. here. Okay, cool. Thirty-four. So let's go. Okay, let's have a look. 
she gets it two out of two let me just make a note yes. okay next one is sorry let me let me grab it oh yeah sure yep i don't know what this is I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, it's because it's just new. You kid. That's too far. That's too. Too, it's too uh, close. No, it's, I think it's like oh, literally not. one or two months left. So, so I won't. I won't put it there. It's too close. Oh, jeez, it's like one month left. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Right. Yep. Go. Okay, yeah. So, speed sprint. You understand? You can't understand what's going on, right? Yeah, this is—he's doing the ten trade challenge. Okay, so this is where he's got one minute to enter the trade, and he can win two grand, right? So it's forty seconds left, Cass. Um. Yeah. Uh, oh. Sorry, George. I haven't updated the score. He didn't get three point nine seven. Cass won the whole thing. Tw uh, Twenty-six seconds left. Oh, no, you yep. Yeah, you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to uh, put your stop laws in. Yeah, George, he didn't. He didn't win. Sorry, he didn't get three point nine seven. I haven't updated the final score. He got nine point one percent. He's topping the table here with probably the best trade I've seen in the show. It was crazy. Okay, thirty eight point eight. Let's go three eight eight. Um, and you're buying. Buy. Yep. Okay, let's have a look. We're on US CAD. Can't even see it. Let's move it down. Is it gonna get? Is it gonna stop? It's not gonna get. It's, oh, he gets three out of three. Three is getting there. This is a good score. Trust me, this is a good score. What are you doing here, Cass? What's, um, what's just this? pure discretion. I'm just looking for some uh, market structure to be broken or some swing highs to be broken and. And today, this is not like I usually trade at all, but it's just pure, pure instinct, basically. Okay, go. One minute. Ah, oh, yeah. So speed sprint. Yes, that's it's it's a cool thing. So he wins two grand if he gets all ten right. Okay, uh, we've just done an hour worth of chart analysis. So if you do want to watch the replay later on or spin back to the beginning of this. You'll see uh, Cass going through and getting a nine percent gain on a ten thousand dollar account, making showing us how to do how to make basically nine hundred dollars on a ten k account using two percent risk per trade. Thirty seconds left. Right, I'm going long. Okay. Stop is going to be. Yep. 30, 39.2 okay let's have a look Ooh, oh he gets it again for it that is a good good score Jesus. sorry let me just jump in here quickly and show these guys i think we've got the scoreboard here oh no we don't have it uh i'll find it later on but i think um no we don't have it this is no that's the wrong scoreboard Okay, anyway, four out of four is good. So if you get six, you, you've actually equaled the top score here. So let's find another one. We're going to do AUD pair, I think this is. AUD NZD. Yep. Simulation, random date and time. Okay, perfect. One minute. Starts now. George, we're going to watch the replay. Well done, mate. So do remember, Cass has been on the show, guys, and he's, like, done a chart walkthrough and everything. So if you want to hunt down those videos, they're all there on Trading Nut. And if you want to have a chat to the guy, you ready? Yep. Uh, if you want to have a chat to the guy, he's in the Trading Nut chat room. So join the chat. I think there's a link under the video in the description to that as well or on the website. You know where to go. Okay, so that's 34.3. Yeah, and it's a long trade. It's a long trade. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, five out of five. 
<laughs> this is this Jesus. is healthy. It's the thing is, it's, uh, these have all looked pretty good. I've got to say, these have all looked pretty good. Maybe you should just change your strategy, mate. Yeah, probably. 60, I have to ditch everything. <laughs> yeah, you can trade the 15-minute chart now. You've got five out of five. Um, <laughs> okay. I think we did that one, didn't we? Cat JPY, we did that. This is the problem now. I've gone through all the letters. I need to actually see what I've got here. Oh, damn it. Okay. So this will get you tied with Dovi, and you can start now. We've got six out of six trades right, so this is like master level, guys. Chanel, Chanel, I can't even say this thing. Chanel stick, damn, the baby, the Dutchman strikes. Dutchman, I like that. <laughs> the flying Dutch, Dutchman. All right. Um, that's yeah. It? So okay. yeah, Dude. long trade. Three one six. Bye. Let's have a look. Oh, he's got a six <laughs> out of six. He's tied <laughs> six out of six. This Damn. is sick. My sponsors now shaking in their boots, thinking, "Here we go." <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> it's costing going to cost me two grand. So guys, this is uh, right. We're gonna go. Let's, let's be here. You've got the top score so far, which is just crazy in its own right. Absolutely crazy. So six out of six. Simulation, random date and time. <laughs> yep. One minute go. <laughs> Speed sprints like seriously stick to this and drop what you had before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's 40 seconds. I did ask him what the reason for the entry was, and he just said gut instinct um, and just sort of intuition. So I don't think there was any like major major stuff so it's less than it's 25 seconds now right i'm going long uh, stop loss yeah that will do okay 31.5 just just creeping over the 31s there okay uh, Forgot the oops, sorry, cancel right. Okay, bye. So, this is for seven. This is for the best score yet in this particular challenge. The 10 trade challenge, guys. If he wins this trade, he's got seven out of ten. He got it, he's got seven out of ten. It's Jesus. like it's like he wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> We're going for it, man. <laughs> Go for it. Seven out of ten. That is. This guy's got seven out of ten trades correct with no analysis. There's something to be said about that. And we're gonna jump into GBP USD. There's a new sheriff in town and he goes by the <laughs> by the Cass Darman. <laughs> right, okay. Let's delete this. Yep, start one minute from now. Now, one thing Cass did do is he had a copy of Forex Simulator and actually used it to get familiar with it, which I don't know if it's helping him here like fully, but he's definitely familiar with it, whereas a lot of the other guys have jumped on, haven't had a copy of it, haven't really got familiar with it. 40 seconds. And I don't know if that's struggled or not, but... Made them struggle or not, but yeah, three to go, 30 seconds. Ride going long. Stop loss. It's quite a big range. It's 48, that's all good. 
Ja. Okay. 495. Oops. Bye. Okay. Let's see. This is for 8 out of 10. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. He's got it. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. So you are two trades away from $2,000 US dollars oh, in Bitcoin coming your way. Okay, buying the dip. Um, right, let's find something else. Let's go with gold. Okay, one minute. Go for it. Guys, you should be liking this video. If you haven't liked it yet, what are you thinking? Hit like. You need to be liking this video. This guy's got eight out of eight trades correct. He's made probably eight times three is what? 20, 20, <laughs> what is it, 24? Yeah, 24. He's made 240 pips. Made 240 pips, okay? So approximately, I think some of them have been bigger than that. So he's probably made about 300 pips a year. Bang, eight out of eight trades, all one-to-one. -one. This is crazy stuff. You've got to be liking this video. Surely we can get to 50 likes on this, guys. Uh, I will go short. Okay, okay. okay, cool. Enough time there. Now we're on gold, so you've got, uh, yeah, that's 30. That's 30 there, basically. Okay. Okay, so this one gets you nine and then you've got to get one more. So let's mm -hmm. have a look. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh. God, he gets it with oh. a spike down to the pip. Let's see if it traces back and gets your stop loss. It did. It didn't get back there again. It didn't get Jesus. back there again. It did not get back there. That is nine. Nine out of nine trades. I cannot believe it. Someone in the chat, do you want to tell me what pair to give him? Just to make it a little bit more fun. So have a look at the pairs here on the screen. Let me know what pair. It can't be any of the pairs that are already listed down here. We're going to have one pair. Come on, hit in the chat. Let's see. Oh, there's some somebody spamming the chat. Great. <laughs> uh, let me just remove this idiot from the chat, uh, if I can. Okay. So let's 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 please win this <laughs> Dutchman. USB AUB USD AUB. Okay. So guys, it's got to be in the list, and that's actually going to be quite a difficult one. That's an exotic. Um, Come on, okay, GJ, we haven't had GJ, right. So thank you, uh, Mr. Stick. We're gonna put GJ in. As th this is, you work on the cusp of two grand. Jesus. <laughs> there is no silver in the list, sorry folks. So you didn't think you were gonna come on trading that tonight and win two grand, so <laughs> let's. All right, so let's, let's, let's take rid of this. Okay, simulation. Random date and time. Okay, ready? Go. Yep. 60 seconds has already started. Guys, if Cass wins this, he's going to win 2,000 US dollars paid in Bitcoin by my sponsor, Forex Simulator, because he's got 10 out of 10 trades right, doing this crazy hard trading challenge, which has kicked people out 38 seconds left uh, with no trades right. Okay, you can't get any wrong. It's like a penalty chewed out. 30 seconds left where you cannot, if you, if you get, <laughs> it's a penalty shoot out. You can't get sudden death, right? You get any trades wrong. He's got nine out of nine trades right. It was crazy. 20 seconds left. Ten, nine, eight. Right, it's short. Seven. Okay. Yep. 
Okay. This is it, folks. <laughs> it's just got to go 30 pips in cash. You're walking away with 10, uh, sorry, 10 trades, 10 out of 10 trades, one, two grand. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. No. How oh. the luck? How is the luck? Yeah. Oh no. That was that was so close. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sorry because that is an absolute stellar performance. Let's see if it did come back. I don't know. No. It didn't, it didn't. It didn't. It was never going there. Oh. Cass, I mean, look. To be fair, how rangy is that market? It is like yeah. it has picked you the range of the century here, which is just ridiculous to try and get any movement. I mean, hey, um, <laughs> I've got to say, <laughs> thank you for coming on. Yeah, sure. It's, I really you enjoyed are, it. You are top of both tables now, so that is the benefit. You're the top of both tables, um, guys. Thank you for watching the show. This has been absolutely gold entertainment. Please share this in your trading forums. Share this in your trading chats. You're going to go back on the trading nut chat now and go, hey, guys, just you're going to be dropping mics like literally just all <laughs> over that chat. <laughs> what, a, what a great performance. Now, um, I'm going to wrap the show up here. So, yeah, look, I'll, I'll sort of... I'll, he deserves something, um, Chaka, Chaka says. Well, look, I, I'll sort out the Dutchman, no problems, uh, with something or other. We'll work it out. So, guys, um, thank you for watching. Now, before we wrap up, uh, do you want to let the guys know how to get hold of you and, and that sort of thing? Yeah, you can uh, contact me via my website, uh, www.cdfxtrading.com, or just go to Instagram and search for Cast Diamond, and, and you will find me, and also in the Telegram channel of uh, Trading Knot. So, yeah, that's basically it. Cool, brilliant. Um, guys, do remember there's some other stuff going on on Trading Knot, so do catch, it, catch up with it all. So we had this uh, Scott Welsh back on the show. He was ranked number two in the World Cup Championship for Forex Trading in 2020. He goes through exactly how he did it. Uh, we also had his oh, simplest way to pick a the start of a trend, so go and check that out. And we've got more and more of these challenges. So Trader versus Trader, we had Pooms. He had a great score there, taking out Jay from Ireland. Uh, we also have... Uh, the signalist who was on last week, got to check this video out. Best chart analysis I've ever seen. Like 10 years I've been at this thing and this best chart analysis I've seen. So go and check this video out. And also the challenge JP Savage versus JD Dowdy. That was awesome as well. And guys, do remember we're using Forex Simulator backtesting software for today's challenge. Uh, it's got so many cool features with it. You can see it all here. It's a 14-day free trial, link below the video. Make sure you jump on there and take that free trial. And if you do want to do things a lot faster than doing manual backtesting, let me show you how. My Robot Builders Club, you get a seven-day video course, VIP community, no coding, live Q&A calls, and 30-plus ready-made robots. There's a link for that below the video as well. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, look, Cass, once again, mate, thank you very much for coming on the show. It's been... A pleasure having you on, and I'm so sorry that you didn't quite get the 10 out of 10, but you have taken the top of both leaderboards, which is fantastic. So 9.101% yep. takes you to the top of that leaderboard, and 9 out of 10 on the trading uh, 10 trade challenge is just crazy good. All right, mate. Well, look, um, guys, I'm going to sign off here in the stream. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Trading Nut.